Yeah, another uh, another reaction from the mayor. You know, I talked to him about a week ago, and he was not happy about what he says essentially being a dumping ground for the homeless population here in San Diego County. As he reminded us, there is 5% of the homeless population here in El Cajon, yet they are now absorbing 45% of the homeless voucher program. The hotel behind me called Relax is one of the hotels we understand that is about 100% full. We do have some video of a variety of different hotels that we took pictures of over the past couple of weeks because when Mayor Bill Wells actually reached out to us originally, he said, you know, I didn't really realize there were so many homeless people going into our hotels. Nobody told me about it. The county of San Diego never picked up the phone and said, hey, Mayor, do you mind if you take a large burden of the homeless population into your hotels? That never happened. Uh, he just woke up one day. The police said that the crime rate was going through the roof. They started looking around. They realized that eight hotels had a lot of homeless people. And quite honestly, they said that they arrested 20 people over the last 10 days, some of them with drug labs in their hotel rooms. So the other side of that is this is a good program for people who actually take advantage of it, who actually have the right intentions. You know, you can get that hotel, you can get that wraparound service, and you can change your life as a result. But obviously, there's a lot of folks out here taking advantage of it as well and using it for whatever purposes. So as a result of the mayor speaking out against, you know, his city absorbing all this burden, he has received a letter from the attorney general of California. Apparently, they're ganging up on him saying, you know what, what you're doing down there in El Cajon is not right. You're throwing people out on the street. Well, here's his response to the attorney general, Bob Bonta. The attorney general thing is a little disturbing because there used to be this thing called due process. So a law enforcement agency, they got a complaint, they would call, at least come down and do an investigation. They would take both sides of the equation, they'd make a decision. We got a letter, a cease and desist letter from the attorney general. They didn't call us, they didn't ask us any questions. They, in, in their cease and desist, they quoted a newspaper article. Uh, you know, the language that they used was the exact same language that the county was using with us. So it's very clear to me that people at the county um, called up Bonta, the attorney general, and said, you got you to crush these guys, use the whole weight of California to stop them. And let me tell you why this is so frightening. If we give in and we, get, we give into this precedent, then any county in the state of California can put as many homeless people in any municipality they want to, and that municipality can't say a word. They can't use their code enforcement, they can't use their own sovereignty to, to try to limit that or stop that or mitigate that in any way. The attorney general has just said, if you try that, we'll crush you. We'll, we'll, we'll say that you're violating people's civil rights. And uh, that's, that's a horrible precedent. Why do we even have cities? Why do we have city councils? Why do people have sovereign governments if the state is going to act like a totalitarian government? All righty, back out here live in front of one of the hotels, one of the eight that are being used here in El Cajon for uh, the homeless voucher program. And tomorrow, Tuesday, there is a council meeting. We understand part of it is going to be behind closed doors to talk about exactly how to deal with this and the people that are coming after them. You know, according to the city charter here in El Cajon, you need a special use permit like most cities have in order to turn a hotel into a complete homeless shelter. At 25 percent, I understand here in El Cajon, you don't need that special use permit. So 25% of the rooms could be filled with homeless vouchers without getting the permit. But some of these are at 100%. Two of them are at 100%. We understand several are at 50, 60, 70, and 80, which would violate the city charter. And essentially what the county and the state are saying is, we don't care about your city charter. Uh, we're doing this and, you know, take it and, and, and smile. So anyway, coming up in the next hour, we're going to get the response on what's going to happen tomorrow and also get him responding to the criticism that he doesn't have a heart, that he is a mean man and he's trying to kick homeless people out on the street. We're going to hear from Bill Wells to that specific accusation coming up in the next hour. And we'll see you then. We're in front of the Relax Hotel, you guys. Throw it back to you.